Yo, so to kick this video off, I wanna go in by lifting each one of these sectioned off braids and I'ma use my shears to cut through them. I don't wanna cut as close as possible. I wanna give as much, you know, new growth and as much hair as possible just so I can figure out exactly what I'm gonna do with this haircut. My next step is to go in by using a pick. I want to lift all of this hair as much as possible. I'm noticing that he got section, real hard section parts off due to his braids, but that's no biggie. Y'all know we barbers. We supposed to get in here. We supposed to understand, analyze, and then fix problems. If you're new to my channel, please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell, all of that. And let's just focus up into this. My next step is to go in with a number three guard. I want to cut with the grain first. I need to understand and know how this hair will react when I run clippers through it. So I needed to see how low it would be just because he got a really good texture of hair, but this is his first haircut. So I'm trying to be super careful, but I also want to be able to lay some real foundation. So I'm gonna use this three all the way around the head just to get a foundation of what I want to do to the haircut. So I could go in against the grain, seeing that with the grain wasn't as bad, but it was like still Afro like it was still high. So the objective was just to go around this head and to get most of this silhouette out the way, knock all of this hair out the way, and set myself up, you know, to get into some real fade work. And as you guys can see, them section parts still showing, but that, that's no biggie. I go in with my babeless clothes because I just want to shape some of it just so I can start to see how this haircut will come together. Nothing is 100% right now. All of it is setting up a foundation. Most of it is just framing out, setting myself up for that next step. I go in with a number two guard right here, and I just want to make sure that I can clean up some of this back area because we know that the back sometimes be the hardest to fade in haircuts like this, but I just want to get the foundation. All of this is foundation work none of it is super solidified yet so i don't want y'all to focus so much on a haircut right now but focus on getting your silhouette you know in the shape of your haircut so most of the time when you have a client that have those lines on both sides of their heads or lines down the middle of the hair from section braids you want to focus on washing the hair and making sure that you do a thorough clean because cleaning the hair and washing the hair pull those lines clean up out of the head sometimes if you cut the hair fresh out of braids or sections you will still see those sections so that's how the sections will erase my next step is i just go in and i'm trying to get real you know real clean in terms of shaping the top of this hair i'm i got the silhouette i got the hair down and then now by just cleaning it up and shaping the top area i can break right in the fade work I go in using a gold comb, just doing slight clipper of a comb. I want to clean up some of the bulkiness that's on the ridge area of his haircut. My next step is to go in using my Babeless FX. It's completely open. The mom told me when she wanted it faded and curled up top that she didn't want the sides super low or zeroed out. She did not want the sides bald at all. So I just told myself like, okay, cool. I could go in open, which is equivalent to a half. And then from that point on, I could fade upwards and create some type of transition. And I just thought that it was super dope that I was still able to do some type of fade even if it wasn't balded out. And I just think that it's super dope. As you guys can see, I'm trying to repeat and get this clean line all the way around the head. And getting the line all the way around the head will just ensure that most of my guidelines at the same place. So I'm just trying to keep an equivalent and symmetrical haircut at this point. My 
my next step is to go in with my 116th guard and I want to nudge at this line. So I got my 116th completely closed on my clippers. I'm going to slightly but surely fade my way all the way up throughout this process. I just want to make sure that I'm taking gentle, nice strokes and I'm holding this head because at this point, the client is starting to doze off and that's just really what kids do. I want y'all to be really focused when you cutting kids hair. Just always take your time and, you know, don't, don't really get upset like if they moving their head or anything like that just because kids, you know, got a really small attention span. They always focus on different things that's going on in the shop, focus on the TVs and things of that nature. So just have fun with what you're doing and enjoy what you're doing, man. The kids sometimes, like, let me know how easy I don't have it in the shop, and that's how it should be. We should always be reminded how difficult some of these haircuts are, but with that being said, we just got to stay consistent and work our way through and through. So I'm completely open with my clippers right here, and I'm just basically trying to fade in and out this line and then I'm gonna go in with my one eighth guard my purple guard because it's a little bit easier to feed hair through the teeth of this guard when I'm cutting into bulk without cutting too much so this is open and I'm just trying to get a nice transition and trying to fade this as much as possible and as you guys can see, the transition is coming together. The kid is still turning his head. But that's a part of the game, man. Just have fun with it. So I go in with my Babeless FX trimmers, and I want to bald out the bottom of that line. And then I'm going to basically fade out that small, balded out line just to give it some type of taper effect. And as you guys can see, man, this is really, really, really looking super good. I just appreciate this situation and being able to cut his hair off, you know, and give him a new hairstyle. Give him a whole different feel. I know he might not understand it at this point, because the mom did tell me like you know it's time for him to get a haircut just because he don't really like getting his hair braided as much so i think this is gonna be so much more cooler for him he looked really clean and cool at the end of this and i just thought that it was super dope so i go back in with my 116th repeating the same steps i clear my bulk with my 1a first and then i'm in here with my 116th playing around trying to get this back to fade we know that this is the hardest part but right now it's the hardest part because i got to keep moving this head up and down just to ensure that you know i could get this guideline faded out And then just to approach this side, I essentially do everything that I did to the other side, to this side. It's always a mirror effect. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other side. So I go in with my 116th close. I'm going to work my way halfway, then fully open. Then I'm going to break into my 1/8th guard. But just to basically revert y'all elsewhere throughout this, man, I'm really, really, really focused on this Tampa move. I'm in the middle of being approved, you know, for my first house, being the first time, you know, house owner. I just think that it's super crazy. I want everybody that's out there. Whenever you're doing a big move, you focus on something that's so much bigger than yourself, it's going to come with some type of scared feeling. And that's been my biggest thing with Chicago. I know that I have to go, but at the end of the day, I always go back and forth for myself because it's a little piece of something that for some reason is keeping me here. And it might be fear. I don't know what created my timidness about the move so much, but just me trying to focus on doing this move has been some of the most frustrating things ever. And I don't even think that it's frustrating all in one. I think that it's really myself making the situation more frustrating so i just want y'all to focus man if you ever doing something really big or something that you feel like is bigger than you you just gotta do it and i think that's super important to anybody's process if you want to do it do it if you fell at it you fell at it but if you excel with it you ain't gonna do nothing but show yourself that you was meant to do this from the beginning i just really want everybody to appreciate all of their situations in life and thank that man upstairs for it just because anything can be taken from you the same way anything can be gained i want y'all to just stay focused and enjoy what you do in life man and let everything naturally come to you so my next steps i go in the back and i'm using my babeless fx's and i want to start to create a nice little taper in the back of here just because i got a nice fade all the way around the head but i want to create you know more of a taper area towards the back of this fade i'm just keeping everything clean flicking at the line brushing and fading one i'm trying to keep his head as tilted as possible and at the same time i'm trying to just control my situation and ensure that i can execute a nice haircut for mom and mom is basically one of my good friends named diamond she basically went to school with me ever since i was like in maybe third or fourth grade we went to elementary together so for her to reach out to me ask for her son's first haircut i'm thinking about that throughout the whole haircut i need to create an amazing haircut 
haircut that's gonna make her comfortable to know like I was able to take care you know her son and that's the most important thing throughout every situation I don't care if they friends if they new clients whatever they are that's the objective the objective is to give somebody something great to give somebody a look that they looking for so shout out to Diamond again for bringing him through I go in with some spritz and I basically want to brush at the line and I want to prep the hair I'm prepping it for a nice line up today Next step is a blow dryer. You want to dry it as much as possible, but you want to ensure that all of the hair is laid and pulled forward. My next step, I got to hold his head, but I would like to center myself in the middle and I like to work my way all the way to the left because once I told him to close his eyes, this was literally the worst thing. I had to use my left hand to basically hold his head because he's going to sleep right now. Like he's completely asleep right now. And I have to hold his head as much as possible just to ensure that I can put a nice straight line on this kid. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like he's a kid. Like he's making the job actually easy for me, but at the same time, it's still kind of hard because I'm one handed throughout this situation situation so you know you gotta adapt that's the biggest thing is any bar but all of you newcomers that's, that's coming into the game y'all just gotta focus and y'all gotta learn how to analyze problems or situations no matter whatever the case is we are the first form of surgeons anybody that's been through that barber book know that barbers were the first form of surgeons we gotta learn how to act accordingly we gotta learn how to problem solve but if anything we gotta learn how to create a system that we can basically work efficiently even with little kids or even with sleep you know sleep kids we got to make sure that we are still able to get the job complete you still on the clock you still got many more that's after the kid many more that was before the kid and i'm still trying to efficiently get the kids haircut down pack so as you guys can see i'm using my hand to basically move his head around because he is sleep he's nodding off i'm just basically trying to see the lineup for what it truly is and i still want to keep it as comfortable as possible for him to be asleep as long as possible just so i can put a nice clean line on him i'm doing whatever through out this situation just to ensure that the ball is in my court and I can play you know accordingly right here I go in with a barber magic pencil which is equivalent to like women concealing their eyebrows they'll go in they'll clean their eyebrows up they'll add any fill in or color to their eyebrows and then they'll go behind them and conceal it just to give it that real clean nice sharp look and I didn't put no color in the kid head because he's a kid he don't need it so I just went and I just used the pencil and I wanted to give it a nice clean sharper image look and then I go in with my trimmers and I put the neck rest in just so I could lay his head all the way back without having to hold his head and then I'm going at this line and I'm starting to blend this line in and out but I still want to keep this consistentness so it can look as sharp as possible. And I'm just keeping myself up to par with my situation. I'm holding his head as much as possible. And the same thing here with the razor. I'm going in with the razor. I'm taking my time just because I don't want him to wake up in the middle of this. Or I don't want him to move in the middle of this. I'm using his head to his advantage. Also, while he's asleep, I'm basically being able to grab more of his head to focus on, you know, the lineup and make sure that I could get this as straight as possible. This is what happens when you're in this predicament. My next step is to do his vertical lines of his neck and then convert into the corner of my clippers to to basically work around the ear once I get to the tip of the neckline and as you guys can see it's coming together really well this was a clean haircut man and now I'm just checking it and I understand he's still asleep so I'm just trying to wake him up some and I'm trying to get him up but he was enjoying the sleep way too much and that's just a part of my job today like he was asleep and I just worked through it and I'm okay because I got symmetricalness on this lineup his fade is nice now it's time to just take it up another level I go in and I hit him with some water because I just need to start to activate this whole curl pattern I need to loosen this hair up some and then I'm gonna go in you know with some styling gel and I basically want to rub it all the way through his hair I want to make sure I get it thoroughly through there because I needed to get to the bottom of the hair and in the middle and towards the top as well just so I can activate these curls he has a beautiful texture of hair as you guys can see his hair is super nice but he falling asleep still throughout this haircut and I'm just trying to keep him up as much as possible that's why you guys keep seeing me tap his shoulder and try to get him up so I kept one hand back just so he didn't fall straight and then I went in with a curl sponge and I'm just basically sponging his hair I want to get this really 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 curl look that's essentially just gonna match his haircut in total and bring it all the way together for me throughout this whole process I'm thinking about mom and I'm thinking about what mom will want and I just remember the picture she showed me so I'm trying to get it as close as possible to that and I'm trying to just make sure that she's happy no matter what
and I go in with a neck duster and I just clean him off. I need to make sure he clean as possible cause that boy is sharp right now. He looking really, really, really good. This was for his fifth birthday as well. So I think this is super dope. He looks super clean. But that boy still sleep, man. That's crazy. So in an imperfect world, we do get clients that come in and have never had a haircut before. And as barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. We supposed to problem solve throughout anything that sit in our chair. And without further ado, y'all know how I give it up on my channel, Diamond. I appreciate you so much for bringing your son and giving me the opportunity to cut his hair. Let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag Glacier Gang. Y'all know what time it is. We super focused. We shaking kids' backs. We shaking adults' back. We are still in confidence in everybody. That come in the shop to get haircuts Without further ado If you was able to make it through this 16 to 17 minute video I appreciate you so much And may God bless so you really trying to leave Florida? Huh? You really trying to leave Florida? Yeah, I'm definitely trying to leave. Wow. That's what I plan on going. Tampa. I have some nice periods I've been looking at. You said you hungry? <laughs> you got whatever color you want. I thought she wanted a blue one. Why are you taking all his pictures? <laughs> Here. You too. As y'all seen, that one was crazy. That one was crazy. It was a process, but we got it done. Let me know what y'all think about that one in the comment section.